Police were once again sifting through the dirt of an Ontario farm today. A new investigation into a possible crime that dates back decades. It all stems from what a woman told CBC News a few months ago. She believes gruesome murders were covered up at the farm and the evidence is waiting to be unearthed. Ron Charles has the latest. Inside this barn northeast of Toronto, police forensics experts are digging up the floor to determine if there are bodies buried beneath it. They are acting on 60-year-old memories of Glenna Mae Breckenridge. In a recent documentary, Breckenridge told the CBC's Paul Hunter her abusive father killed three Aboriginal boys, burying two of their bodies in the barn and the third somewhere else on the farm. Father said, stop right where you are, and he shot the first one right about there. Breckenridge says she'd been trying for decades to get the police to act on what she remembers happening here. They did look into it in 1992 and 2010, but decided there was no case. They did not dig on the property. Things changed over the summer. That's when the CBC hired an expert to use ground penetrating radar to scan under the rocky floor of the barn. The expert detected two forms in the ground that he says could possibly be bodies of teenage boys. We reached Breckenridge today in Florida. I'm from one end to the other. I'm uh, relieved, I'm anxious, uh, I'm emotional. Aboriginal groups also pressured police to act on the ground radar results. They held a ceremony at the farm earlier this month for what they are calling the lost boys. Becky Big Canoe is from the closest First Nation to the farm, the Chippewas of Georgina Island. She says records show no missing children from there, but they could have come from a residential school in another area. A lot of children were displaced because of the residential school system, and they were far, far away from home. And at that time, the police didn't um, look for them. They, they, they weren't even considered missing. Police expect the slow process of excavating the barn floor to take several days. If they find anything, it will take longer still to determine what it is. Ron Charles, CBC News, near Cannington, Ontario.